I ordered some puzzles from my kids at school to do as a decision making, goal setting, and teamwork activity to see if they're going to be what I expect them to be. Check in the text below this video and also in the pinned comment. I'll provide a link where you can buy this product or one similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link for your shopping. Thank you so very much. And I have So You Like to Talk, We Hear You. It's called Chatter Chance Cards. They're question cards that spark connection and understanding to get kids talking. It includes 80 cards. And I'm going to go through and pull out anything that's going to be not appropriate for my middle schoolers. I did get the school version. Another communication game I got a little set of cards. It's called Let's Talk. And that's right over the top of that. I got the teen version on that one. They have various versions of this. So their motto is changing the world, one conversation at a time. Has 60 communication cards that are supposed to build confidence and connection. Well, let's talk is a fun and innovative way to allow kids and teens to open up and share their thoughts and feelings. Let's talk increases self-esteem and builds confidence and connection. Include 60 communication cards, let's talk. Then I also got the let's talk for ages 9 through 12 because I figured I would probably have to pull some of the teen out for my middle schoolers. And these might be like on a um, safer level. It's the same thing. So let's see what these look like. And honestly, you can see how I'm struggling trying to open these. Uh, there's just no way that my kids are going to get these cards back in the container the way that they're supposed to be. They don't with Uno cards. So what I normally do is when I get a set of cards that I use, I put them in a Ziploc baggie and I flatten out the package and then just put the cards in the baggie so that I know what they are. It's much easier for the kids to put the cards back in the baggie. So... There's things here like, when you're an adult, how will you parent differently? If you really knew me, you would know. What would you like to be someday? If you were granted three wishes, what would they be? Name three things that you love about yourself. It goes on and on and on. So I'm going to go through, and if there's anything in here that's uh, kind of a dangerous topic, I'm going to pull it. That's from the teen set. And the 9 through 12 set. So I think what they do is they just shuffle and the kids draw a card and I'm going to tell mine if they draw, they can draw one card if they don't like the card, they can put it back and get another one. Describe what a perfect day would be like for you. Oops, it's that down. What have you done to help someone recently? How did it make you feel? No, I like that. What do you think your friends like about you? What is the hardest thing you've ever done and why was it so hard? If you could ask God one question, what would it be? I'm probably going to pull that one out because we're not really supposed to be promoting religion stuff and public school systems. You can leave your comments about that below. What would you like to be someday? Do you think the world would be a better place if everyone was the same skin color? That's not even worded well. If everyone had the same skin color, why? I don't know if I'm going to leave that one in there or not. If you knew someone that was sad, how would you cheer them up? What would you do if you could spend the day with your dad? I'll Probably going to pull this one out because a lot of my kids live in single-parent homes and many of them um, don't know their dads or are not able to spend the day. It's not able to spend time with their dads. Describe the ideal mother. Um, what do you appreciate most about your parents? So depending on your school situation, there's just going to be some of these that I would suggest if you're a teacher going through the, the cards and pulling out anything that you might be a trigger for a, for a student. So you like to talk, we hear you, school version. And I won't be mixing these cards with that one over there. They'll be, they'll be separate groups. I didn't really close these up. So I'm, I'm impressed with the quality of these cards. They're thick. They look like they're going to hold up with, um, you know, kids touching and handling them. These are a little bit thinner than these are the the let's talk cards are are really thick it's hard to tell on the camera but these are a little bit thinner 
they're laminated, they're kind of shiny, glossy. How would you describe your classroom culture? How do you deal with competition? Did you ever win a contest in school? And if you were to describe your desk mate, what is your ex favorite extracurricular activity? What do you think it takes to be a good study, study partner? Share a time when you had fear of missing out. So these are all based on school thing. And one of my standards that I teach, I teach uh, family consumer science or home economics, is for my kids to develop school skills. So I can divide these up. If I have a class, a class of like 20 kids, I can divide the kids into like maybe five groups of four each and give them some cards and tell them they've got like 10 minutes to uh, have like a little discussion to foster communication and things like that. So I'm happy with the, happy with all my cards. I teach middle school. I purchased the Less Talk teen version and the ages 9 through 12. And I'm going to use these for communication, problem solving, decision making, get kids to open up. So the cards are very sturdy. They're very thick. And it tells you on the back, so I'm not going to get them. We, I won't get, have to get them mixed up. It says that one's for the 9 to 12. It tells you on all of those. It has things like what makes someone popular. Do you feel popular? What makes someone a good friend? Who is your hero and why? Can people who don't have money be happy? What is it that you have done that you uh, wouldn't like to do? What do you uh, appreciate most about your parents? Describe the ideal mother. Now, some of these I may pull out because, you know, some of these may not be appropriate to use with certain um situations in your school so i encourage if you're a teacher to go through them before you shuffle and give them to your kids same thing if you're a parent the teen version um these are going to be a little bit higher level again it tells you on the back that it's a teen card so they're not going to get mixed up and they're different colors the 9 through 12 are blue and the teen cards are purple so that's a nice touch talk about something that made you feel proud what makes a good parent have you ever felt shame? If so, when? I don't think I would include that one in my school setting. Have you been a good example to someone? What have you done recently to get outside of your comfort zone? How do you feel? Have you helped someone in need this week? So these cards are just to be able to get um, people to start talking and help build confidence and connections. It's a fun and in let's talk is a fun and innovative way to allow kids and teens to open up and share their thoughts and feelings. I'm a school teacher. I teach middle school, and one of my standards is my kids have to um, develop communication skills, and they have to develop school skills. So I bought the Chatter Chance. So if you like to talk, we hear you. I got the school version. They have other versions available, but these Chatter Chance are question cards that spark connection and understanding. Want to know what your classmate or friend is really thinking? From light and funny to deep and meaningful, you can never know what comes out of the out of the box chatter. It has 80 cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and pull cards that I don't think are appropriate, that I don't think that my kids need to talk about at school. If you're doing this as a parent, I encourage you to do the same thing. But my theory is if I have 80 cards here, it's um, you can have two plus players. If I have like a class of 20 kids, I can divide them up into groups of two or three so they're not um, like just so self-conscious three is probably better four maybe better and they can draw a card if they don't want to answer that one they can draw another card what design would you choose if you could repaint and decorate your classroom walls that would be interesting between vanilla and chocolate what's your favorite flavor of ice cream explain why which invention do you wish to implement in your classroom how did the COVID-19 pandemic impact your social life I don't know that I'll leave that one in there that one may be triggering for some kids who had um, that had a death or traumatic experience in their family from COVID-19. What do you think would be the ideal daily school schedule? What is the nicest thing you've ever done for a friend? So you can go through, that's the way, kind of the way that they are, and they are color-coded. And here's a little card that shows you the different boxes that you can get. So I'm very happy with this. I look forward to using it with my middle schoolers. They're very sturdy. I'm having a really hard time getting this box back open. There's no like little thing to hold on to and like I keep tapping it and it's not coming undone. So they're definitely gonna have to go back in the baggies or go in baggies because I'm gonna have to get an eye for something to pop this open. Look at that. I don't wanna break my nails. It's too difficult. I mean, I can do this, but is that really what we want to do? 
Even that's difficult. It's gonna tear the box up. There's gotta be a bad way. Good grief. You wanna hear a story? I'm gonna tear the box back up just getting him back in here to take him to school. That's too tight. Y'all need to make this box. You guys need to make this box bigger. When it's weighted. It's not a problem. But when you close it up and there's no cards in there, just don't put the lid back on there when you take the cards out. Do that instead, I guess. Now I've got it stuck again. Oh my goodness. Just don't put the lid on the bottom unless you got the cards in there.